Okay, this is Sunday, July 19th. We're two minutes into the pump running, and we've made it about 30 feet down. But this is the end, and it's just not near as pressurized, which is why I need to redo this. And then this stitch right here is just hardly even. I may need to JB weld some of my holes shut and drill new ones. We're going on this one. And we're getting there on this one. Doing real good on this one. And this one. And this one, but then again, here we are getting closer to the middle. Doing real good. Even flooding the alleyway on this one. All the way up. Doing real good. Both sides running good. And again, you see, <clears throat> here is, there's the in, intake. And I've even duct taped a few of these off to build pressure on the end. And like I said, we're, we're gangbusters here in the middle. But on the ends, we're lagging, which is why I need to take this from one half and one half to one third, one third, one third to get equal coverage and pressure. We're going to open this side up. Now we're not shooting quite so hard there. But we're going down here. If I had used 2 inch PVC, I'm not sure that it would have had near this pressure. And like uh, next year I may just wait and then in, invest in a pressure reducer and, and do the drip tape. Because this is, this is reasonably efficient, but this is not really efficient. And on dry times in Arkansas, ponds tend to go down. In fact, this is the maybe the last time or next to the last time that I'll pump out this small front pond and I'll have to connect to the big pond down below and pump up a long ways. We did manage to get some straw and some hay down on this end and we don't have near the weeds. All that stuff is nasty growing up. So, there's this part of it. If nothing else, maybe you can gain some ideas on how to do a more efficient way. This is, like I said, this is my learning curve year, so next year I anticipate a whole lot less stress and a whole lot less effort. Oh, and by the way, this is, let's see, this is seven minutes into pumping, so pretty good in the ground. We had a good rain Friday, and it's not real, real dry now, so it's not just instantly soaking up, so, all right, have a good night.